Hey, welcome back to the series of uh, Accountancy Chapter 2 Accounting for Partnership. In this video, we are going to learn about performa or format of partners capital account under fixed method. And not only that, we'll be learning about the partner's current account in this video. So without further ado, let's jump into this video and let's start. Basically, this are the performa or a format. We'll call it format from now on. This is the format of partner's capital account. We already told about why we should open partner's capital account and partner's current account. In fixed method, we have to follow two accounts that is partner's capital account and partner's current account. Okay, so this is the partner's capital account and this is the partner's current account. So let's start with what are the entries we have to concern about or worry about. We always have credit and debit side of every format. In the credit side, we'll be entering whatever the amount which is coming towards the partnership account or partnership firm that are all will be in the credit side and whatever the amount is withdraw that will be in the debit side. So the first of all balance brought down. Balance brought down. What do you mean by balance brought down? If there is any balance is bringing from the last year that will be considered as balance brought down. If this partnership account is maintained imagine this is a second year capital account. So on that time you have to carry forward from last year to this year. So that's why balance brought down. If this is the first year then that time you will be entering the balance. So fresh capital is introduced means you will be written as bank. So we'll be entering only three that is one bank from the data side and one bank in the credit side this credit side bank is for capital introduced and the debit side bank is for cash withdraw from the capital if partners is withdrawing capital from a partnership firm that time you have to enter here so these are the three entries which we'll get these are all very rare entries which we find often we find like withdrawal something but it's a rare entries and finally we have a balance carried on whatever the amount which you will get obviously you will get closing balance in the debit side because obviously we'll get uh, data side more if you subtract from the credit side you'll get some amount that is called a closing balance that is balance carried down towards the next year so this is how you should write the partner's capital account you should worry about only three things that is whatever the amount which is being forwarded from the last year if there if not bank introducing a new capital if that is a fresh capital is introduced or additional capital is introduced means you will write here and if partners is withdrawing capital a proportion of a capital then it will be recorded here these are the partners capital account format so next we are starting with the partners current account so in the current account as usual we have date particular amount and I don't want to explain about these things I just explain about uh, the entries which will be coming in problems so the first entry is in the credit side balance brought down if there is any carry forward of balance from the last year that will be entered here opening balance of credit if anything is given opening balance that will be created here next if partners is getting paid salary then they will be recording here next commission if commission is paid to the partners then partners will get commission from this to a particular partner so that will be recorded here and next interest on capital this interest is for capital the partners have invested so for a partner it will send to the partners account so interest on capital is on the capital for investing capital so that is this and don't confuse about interest on drawing interest on capital these are all separate thing interest on capital will be paid to the partner but interest on drawing is paid by the partner to the company but this interest on capital is companies paying to the partners so that's all next if any profit or loss appropriation is done on that time you have to enter here so these are all the entries which will be coming in the credit side in the debit side we'll get drawings if partner is drawing some amount or withdrawing it's not withdrawing it's a drawing drawing means using for personal purpose so if partners is drawing some amount that will be recorded in the debit side next interest on drawing if partners is charging interest on the drawing like here if suppose a is drawn uh, some amount that means for a interest will be charged so the interest amount will be written here this is paid by the partners to the company next we have a balance carried on after this you will get a debit balance or a credit balance sometime you may get either one so if credit balance is more you'll get balance carried down in the debit side so closing balance if you get uh, debit balance more that will be recorded in the credit side 
first I will erase it. So these are the formats of partner's capital account and partner's current account in a fixed method. Only write three entries in the partner's capital account. That is the one is balance brought down if any. The two is if any capital is introduced that is this and third one is if a partner is withdrawing some amount or withdrawal of capital that is this and everything remain will be in partner's capital account under fixed method so and rest will be in the partner's current account in the fixed method so these are the fixed method formats and for the fluctuating method we'll discuss in the next video i think you probably got uh, some basic idea after solving simple sum you may get a little more a deep knowledge about this so that's it for this video if you like this video hit like and share with your friends like always see you in the next series bye